Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha. This is your first time watching and here on my channel I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle. Now I also do a little bit of DIY so if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another upload. So today we're going to be looking at my most frequently used black owned products and some of these products are in collaboration with larger brands but they were created with um, black influencers, uh, creators, and artists. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So my first product that I have, I use every single day. And hopefully you saw the video that I did on the Alter Planning Co's um, planners. It is their planner. I use the daily planner, literally daily, <laughs> since I got it. Um, this one has more of like a to-do list kind of feel. So every day I plan out my day, what I'm going to do from the morning, um, afternoon, and then evening. And it's been a game changer for me being that I work a nine to five and I have things that I have to do for that nine to five task every morning, afternoon, and evening. So I absolutely love this. I actually have a discount code for you all so if you want to purchase their semi-annual the dailies which is more to do list centered or the annual you can use my um, discount code tk2021 for 10 percent off your purchase but if you are lucky and you took part in my giveaway thank you to all of you that did i did have two winners one person won the semi-annual and one person won won the dailies i actually had so if you haven't noticed by now, I love sneakers. So this sneaker is the Pumas and this is the Suede, let me see, actual name. It's the Suede Classic Geo. And these um, Pumas were in collaboration with Solange Knowles and Solange is like legit my one of my favorites. And these came out in 2015. My sister got these for me for Christmas. And I absolutely love these. These are one of these sneakers I have in my closet where I get so many compliments off of. It's maybe like four pairs and you're going to see two today. So I absolutely love the print on these and that they're all green. And they actually came with two pairs of shoelaces. I'm weird. One of my sneakers have two laces and one has one. And... These are really like nice staple in my closet when I'm wearing like a simple outfit and I want to add a pop of color. And yeah, I absolutely love these. It's not really much I can say about these, but that whole collection that she had with these back in 2015, if they came out now, they would have sold out because these came out, I think, in like summer, fall, and I got these for Christmas back December of that year and they still had these in stock and they had these nice neutral colors like a nice brown nice yellow a nice um baby blue right now if they came out again these would definitely sell out so I have another pair of sneakers and these are the Laylee May ones I got these December 2018 it looks like there's a pattern of me getting my favorite sneakers in December so these came out December 22nd how I remember is because I really wanted these. Like, I, like, stopped everywhere to make sure I knew the day when these were coming out. I hit on the sneakers app on these. I don't know how, but I did. I think it's before it, the sneakers app got super popular. I hit on these. And I remember I prayed. I was like, Lord, please let me get these. And then I got them, and then my sister saw me come out of the room smiling. She was like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I got these sneakers. So when they came, I don't know how I, I ordered the wrong size, but um, I put like some heel things in these so that they're, they feel a little bit more snug. And yeah, but once I got these, my sister saw how much I love mines, and then she was like, I want a pair. And then sneakers pop up came to Atlanta. They had these. I went down there and I got my sister a pair, and she loves these as well. These go with basically everything. The fur is detachable. A Lady May, speaking of her, one of my favorite like stylists, um, one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. Her style is it when it comes to street style so you can take the fur off 
I'll take it off in one. It comes off pretty simple. You snap it off and this is how it looks. So you have that normal one look. I love the color blocking of these. I was excited when these came out because I thought about the um, the Vitek Dunks, which I'm upset I don't have those. And resale is pretty high on those, so that's why I don't have them. But these came out before and I was like, okay, these will be like a good little dupe of these since I don't think they're ever gonna come out and they did. So yeah, so these are my favorites. I wear these winter, spring, summer, year round. A great pop of color. This is the second shoe in my closet that I get the most, the most compliments off of in the most stairs, especially I have the fur on, people are stare. So these are number two. Then is my um, NC to Chicago ones. Everybody loves those for some reason. And then I also get a lot of compliments off of my snake um, yellow uh, Nike Reacts. Everybody loves those. So I have some skincare favorites. And the one that I use the absolute most, all these I use the most. But I've been using this the longest out of all the skincare I'm going to show you. And this is Black Girl Sunscreen. And this is SPF 30. But they do have another one. It's like a matte version that just came out. That's SPF 45, which I really want to try, but this really helps. You should be wearing sunscreen every day. It does not matter what complexion you are. You should be wearing sunscreen. And this has helped with my hyperpigmentation drastically. And I've been using this product, I would say I used it since March. But frequently going into, I think like May, because... I was still using super goop and I had a little bit left and I wanted to use that because that's expensive and you should always use your things. But I absolutely love this and it does have a sunscreen smell but it's not like overpowering. And once you put it on your face, you really don't smell it anymore. But I'm really excited to try the matte version, which I do have that at Target and on blackgirlsunscreen.com. But when I went to Target, because I want to do a little haul for you guys, Every black owned thing I wanted to purchase was sold out. So next I have some products from NOLA Skinchuals. And let me tell you, these products have been a game changer when it's come to my skin. I use the Passion Fruit Bar Soap. I use that on my body and my face and it's helped calm down my acne drastically. Like it has made so, such a change. I purchased this back on Black Friday and then I did not get until December. But I will tell you this, their communication with their customers, amazing because they let everyone know, hey, we're running behind, but you'll definitely get it before Christmas, which I did. I used it the same day that I got it. And it's been helping since that day. I also pair it with the Brighton C Serum. And what I love about the NOLA brand is that it is literally a dupe for some of the high-end products that I was using. So this is definitely a dupe for that. And also, um, the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask is a dupe for another high-end product that I, I use. And I use this every two to three days. Not two to three days. Two to three times a week, um, depending on how my um, skin is doing. And when I tell you the product I was using was $50 and this is $25, but these products work. They just work. And I highly suggest if you have a problem with hyperpigmentation, acne, if you have acne prone skin, check out Nova Skin Jewels. And you can purchase these items online on their website. And everything that I show y'all today, I will list down below. So if you suffer from cramps during your time of the month, get the Soothing Body Balm. From the honey pot like this is a game changer i just rub it on my stomach whenever i'm having cramps and it actually calms the cramps drastically drastically is the word of this video because this is what it does i have to use this and a little goes a long way because i use this maybe that week maybe two times two or three times and i'm finally hitting the bottom like the bottom of the um, 
container and i've had this for a hot minute but because a little goes a long way you can i mean you don't have to keep on replenishing so, you know, I have to come with some hair products. Even though I struggle with my hair, I do have some products for you all. So, I have the TGIN Leave-In Conditioner. I had talked about this product before. Some of these I have definitely, I know I talked to y'all about before. But, this product changes the game for me. I'm one of those people, I try a lot of products. But I keep on going back to this. And I'm sad because I'm finally almost done with this. And I had to go buy another one. Like, if you look this up now, they do not have this packaging. Because I've had maybe for like a year, year and a half. But this is like the best leave-in conditioner that I've ever used. It's, it keeps my hair super moisturized. And I don't have to keep on going back every day putting this on my hair. I can probably put it on maybe two times but my hair stays super moisturized when using this product and also i use their samples of their um shampoo conditioner and i feel like something else i use amazing i cannot wait to try it like not try it but buy the larger bottles because i have other products i have to wait till i finish that to get to buying some more of the tgin products so the last products I have for you all is from Design Essentials and this is for the hair and this is the Daily Moisturizing Lotion and the Edge Tamer. This really works well on my hair just like TGIN just for adding um, moisture and having my hair not feeling like brittle and crazy during the week. I like using one or the other but I use the leave-in conditioner first and then throughout the week I'll use this and i really do like their products because they work well for my hair my hair texture it just it just works i normally my hair is my hair is pretty crazy it gets dry easily so i have to moisturize a lot and my hair just not like the information so these products work for me also the edge tamer is really good for people personally for me the edge chamber for me works well when my hair is kind of more pressed out, not really in its natural state. It has a better hold. Personally, one thing I love about this edge chamber is that it doesn't leave like residue. It doesn't look like gooey and jelly, especially like when you have like, put like a good feel on your edges. It doesn't do that for me. And I know it's with a lot of edge chambers and edge controls, it does do that. But this one, does not and i love the smell of these products this is from the honey and shea line and it also it's almond avocado and this is the almond avocado moisturizer too they also have really good shampoos and conditioners as well so i do highly suggest using this line so i hope you all enjoyed today's video of all my frequently used black owned products and some items that's in collaboration with black influencers artists i hope you all enjoyed that make sure you like comment and subscribe so that you don't miss another upload and i will see you all next time bye y'all